The Paris classification of superficial neoplastic lesions. The aim of this presentation is to help you to understand what's the Paris classification of superficial neoplastic lesions. To start with, we mean by superficial neoplastic lesions, these are the lesions localized to the mucosa and submucosa. And by defining the morphology of these lesions, you can find a way to treat them and you can find which of these lesions could be removed by endoscopy and which ones should be sent for So as we said, the superficial neoplastic lesions as classified by Paris, it allows description of the morphology of the lesions. So it's important to, to help you to determine the appropriate method of treatment. It has a predictive value for the submucosal invasion. So lesions showing submucosal invasions are not suitable for endoscopic treatment. And it also facilitates comparison between. Now we're giving, going to give some basics. The Paris classification is originally a modification of the Japanese classification in 2002 for lesions in the GIT tract, wherever they are. That's the macroscopic classification of type 0. We mean by type 0, they are amenable to endoscopic treatment. And when you remove them, nothing will remain of these lesions. So the treatment is curative. They are classified into protruding lesions, non-protruding, non-excavated lesions, and excavated lesions. And as you can see, the protruding are two types. The non-protruding, non-excavated are three types with lesions that can take part of this and part of that. And type three is actually an ulcer, a deep ulcer. Uh, we have these lesions that can mix between one and the other. That will make you confused. So start by just giving the basics. The lesions are either protruding, excavated, or non-protruding, non-excavated. We will focus now on the main types of morphology, so no fine lesions at the present time. Type 1 is either pedunculated with a stalk or sessile with no stalk and the lesion all through with white base as you can see here. Type 2 is three categories, slightly elevated, this is type 2A, slightly depressed, type 2C, or completely flat, flat type 2B. What do we mean by slightly elevated? It means that it is less than 2.5 millimeters. It's the size of the cup of the biopsy forceps. So what's more than this is the size, what's less than this is type 2. We mean by flat is completely flat. We mean by slightly depressed that depressed below the surface and the measure for depression is 1.2 millimeter less than 1.2 millimeter and this is half the cup or the open cup of the biopsy forceps. The excavated lesions type 3 are truly deep lesions more than 1.2 millimeter. Type 1 as we Four is either bilanculated, we refer to it by the letter B, or sessile, we refer to it by letter S. And we mean by bilanculated that the neck is narrower than the head of the lesion, narrower than the top of the lesion. And we mean by sessile that the base and the top of the lesions are the same diameter, as you can see here. And both are more than 2.5 millimeter. As we said, if it is less than this, we'll just take it as a lesion category two. These are examples of betanculated lesion with the pedicle, as you can see here. And this lesion is ulcerated at the top. And this is the type of CSI lesions 0-1S. As for type 0-2, we have three categories either type 2A, 
slightly elevated, type 2C, slightly depressed, or completely flat lesion, as you can see here. These are examples. This is an example of type 0-2A, and this is 2A as well, slightly elevated, and this is combination of slightly elevated and CSI lesion, and that's why we say it is 2A plus 1S. This is 1S, and this is 2A. Uh, these lesions which are completely flat are hardly seen in the colon. They are more common in the esophagus, like this lesion in a patient with uh, uh, the lesion is not taking the uh, pigmentation, while the surface of the esophagus is taking the, with the segmentation of the iodine. And this is another lesion of uh, type 2B, completely flat lesions. You can hardly find this lesion in the colon, but they can sometimes rarely. And this is an example of the slightly depressed lesion, which is type 2C. This is the distal end of the esophagus. Type 3 is actually an ulcer, deep ulcer. Lesions with deep ulcer below the mucosa, loss of the mucosa, and often the submucosa are seen, and the uh, distance we say this is different from type 2C is 1.2 millimeters. When it is more than 1.2 millimeters, this is a deep lesion classified as type. This is an example of type 3 lesion. This is an ulcer as you can see here. There is a distinction between the slightly depressed 2C and excavated 3 lesions based on the depth and the, of the depression. The cutoff level is 1.2 mm in columnar epithelium. However, type 3 is extremely rare in the colon. As we said before, type 1B, type 2B is rare in the colon, and type 1, uh, type 2B is more common in the esophagus. This is the excavated lesion, and this is the slightly depressed lesions with different numbers. Examples here, just to see what we mean this. This is an example of bidunculated lesion, type 1B. An example of CSI lesion, type 1S. Example of slightly elevated lesion, type 2B. Back to this, when the lesion is more than 2 cm, we call it lateral spreading tumor. And according to the surface, if the surface is granular, we call it lateral spreading granular tumor. If it is flat, we call it lateral spreading non-granular tumor, and the granularity is safer than the flat type or the non-granular type. So the granules, the granular surface is a good This is an example of a completely flat lesion. You can hardly find it, you can hardly see it. And this is an example of sessile polyp of 1S, an example of a slightly elevated lesion type 2A. An example of CSI lesion 1S. An example of CSI lesion, as you can see here, again 1S. An example of an elevated, slightly elevated lesion type 2A in the proximal esophagus. And an example of slightly of, of uh, slightly elevated lesion as well. You can see here the lesion type 2A. And this lesion we have seen before a combination of slightly elevated lesion type 2A and a CSI lesion 1S. And this is again a slightly elevated lesion of 2A. This is lesion in the distal esophagus. And this is the, again an example of slightly elevated lesions, type 2A. You can see these granules. This is one of the lateral spreading granular tumors. And this lesion in the distal esophagus, slightly depressed, representing type 2. That's the end of the presentation. It will follow a self-testing on the Kahoot program. Thank you.